I come into Yivo, and, and, and it's like, it's a theme park. It's a Yiddish theme park. And it was like, the place was bustling. It was like unbelievable. And what was really great is that you got a sense of these two worlds. You see all of the original people from the original Yivo, Dina Abramovich may hear, God rest her soul, the most wonderful little tiny woman, a bundle of energy running the library, and the, the, um, um, the superintendent, the guy who was running the building, was this former Bundist, Bolek Ellenbogen. I, I loved that man. I would go hang out with him in the basement among all the tools, and he would tell me about you know, fighting you know, against uh, the right-wingers in, 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 in Poland. I said, oh my god, you couldn't, you couldn't walk down the hall without being infused with a sense of the dynamic of the of of Yerushalayim Delite. And 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 yet the place was full of young people and we were all rock and roll heads, we we're all pot smokers, we we're all like really it was it was like the best of both worlds because we said this is our world. We 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 know this modern world, we are a part of it, we recognize it and yet we have a chance. We're being handed a baton, and it was thrilling. It was absolutely thrilling, and everyone had like a piece of it. And I came in. It was almost like it was foreordained because the one thing that wasn't there, I, mean, I was on the fifth floor. We called it. It was the fifth floor autonomous region because no one would come up. It was the old, uh, the old uh, mansion of the Vanderbilts. This was the servants' quarters. I said, I'm in the right place. I'm in the servants' quarters. And all the way on the top floor, across the hall from me, Josh Waletsky was working on image before my eyes, and down, down the hall um, was, uh, I mean, uh, just the, the absolute David, David Rogoff, God rest his soul, who was translating uh, the Yiddish, the Adias. And they were just, everyone was so great. Everyone was, they were thrilled to have these young people come in. and. I didn't know who Max Leinreich was. I knew that the person who had set a lot of this in motion was Barbara Kirschenblatt Gimblet, and I quickly became one of her Hasidim. Everyone became one of BKG's Hasidim because she, she was a force, still is, a force of nature. And, and I came in, and you know, some people are doing film and some are doing photography, but no one's doing old records. And, and I said, I know this stuff. I pick up a record, and I said, oh, 1923. And they said, how do you know that? I said, well, I know about these things. Said, oh, my god, we got a bunch of these. And suddenly I became, you know, I became the Michigana with the records. And, um, and it became the soundtrack of, of, of the building. I mean, a lot of times, everyone on the first floor, all of the, the Altvag, all of the older members of YIVO said, what are they doing up? It's like, what are the kids doing? They're too quiet. Go upstairs and look and see what they're doing. And, it, and we, were, we were like, it was like in our family's attic. He said, look, I found this old film footage. And we would just screen film footage for ourselves. Or I would come across the hall. I said, I found this amazing record about this guy named Levine who flew the Atlantic. Uh, you know, and, and suddenly, history was not history. History was being was emerging in real time in our lives at that moment. And this was the greatest, aside from the founding of YIVO in, in, in the 20s, this was its greatest moment because it was a hothouse of, of, of I think, the, the, the next generation of great cultural carriers.